from North Karnataka, a land older than the Himalayas, come fascinating stories of our diverse wilderness and wildlife. Unique and amazing endemic species, some found nowhere else on the planet. A visually stunning and eye-opening series on the oldest geological formation of the Indian subcontinent. And the hidden, mysterious, wild wonders of the Deccan's natural world. This is Koppal. This is our wildlife. This is the Deccan. Once the most misunderstood and persecuted animal across the globe, the wolf is a mystical creature. For centuries, folklore and myth have painted the wolf as savage and sinister, fueling terror and leading to the misconception that wolves pose a serious threat to human life, despite volumes of evidence to the contrary. On the other hand, the Deccan shepherds revere the wolf and their tolerance and respect for this animal have made them its protectors and guardians, helping them to survive against all odds. Known for its fierce appearance and legendary hunting prowess, the wolf is an evolved predator and often provokes wonder, fear and awe. It was the first wild canid ever to be domesticated, a process still shrouded in mystery that dates back to almost 10,000 years. The grey wolf was once the most widely distributed mammal on planet Earth. And the Indian wolf is a subspecies confined to small pockets of human-dominated spaces. Thought to be the most ancient representative of animals in the world, genetic analysis has shown its lineage date back to thousands of years. And the Indian wolf is recognized as a separate species. Canis lupus palapus. These wolves have been our dearest friends and direst enemies. Found in the Deccan, the Indian wolf lives in open plains, grasslands and rocky scrub jungles, the last refuge for this highly endangered species. Their long grey hairs provide protection against solar radiation in this arid, hostile region they call home. Wolves, like other wildlife, consume certain native flora as these plants have medicinal properties that cure ailments. They are pack animals led by the alpha male. The strength of a wolf is in its pack and the strength of the pack is in the wolf. Wolves procreate in October and the breeding female will litter in winter when food 
is available in plenty. Howling is a mean of communication between the pack individuals and increases during the breeding season. The mother will have several dens in a given area and will move her young around often. Every member of the pack devotes itself completely to the pups that are born to the alpha pair making sure that the young grow up to be strong. Only a deeply social and family oriented animal would demonstrate such devotion to another's offspring. Today, the Indian wolf faces extinction. A sharp decline in their prey populations like the black buck and chinkara has increased their tendency to hunt and feed on livestock drawing them closer and closer to humans in a conflict. Habitat loss and degradation, unplanned and unsustainable development further threaten their survival. Wolves are a critical keystone species of the grasslands. By regulating prey populations, Wolves enable many other flora and fauna to flourish. Without them, the grasslands ecosystem would fail to support this biodiversity and they may cease to exist altogether. We at DCF are working to preserve these last habitats and the remaining wolf populations in Koppal and surrounding North Karnataka. By involving locals across civil society, integrating grassroots level strategic partners like the shepherds as our stakeholders, we hope to save this legendary hunter.